Hi everyone, welcome back to the homestead. I'm Salisha. Today we'll be finally harvesting all of our onions for the year. Now, bear with me through this video because I realized halfway through that my audio wasn't working and my mic was not plugged in. So anyway, we're gonna be harvesting all of the onions in the containers in my container garden, as well as the onions in my in-ground garden. We'll be doing a little bit of a comparison to see the difference in size of the ones that are in ground compared to the ones in the containers. So let's start harvesting these onions. So first things first, how can you tell if the onions are ready for harvest? Well, there are two main things I look for. Number one is the health and vigor of the stalks, which is like the green onion parts that are outside. If those are fallen over, they're wilting, they're browning, you can see mine here how brown and wilty they look and they're all just kind of flopping over. That's one sign that the onions are ready for harvest. Another sign I look for is just the general size of the onion bulbs themselves. When you're growing onions, you can see that they actually grow outside of the soil. Um, they grow pretty much on top of the soil and their roots are the ones that are anchoring them down to the ground. So if you look at the onions, you can actually see when the bulbs are big enough. That's usually another indicator that the onions are ready because, because they're the size of a regular size onion. So looking at those two signs, you know your onions are ready for harvest. So let's go ahead and collect all of these and see how they look. In this one container, I harvested 13 large bulbs of onions. I still have still a couple of tiny little bulbs that just got drowned out, but those will be uh, kept for other things. So that's a really good harvest. Let's go ahead and collect the rest from the other side. So all of these is just from one container. I have about 13 of them here and I'm gonna go ahead and harvest the rest, but they look absolutely amazing. We just have to cure these and uh, we'll have onions for over a year probably, hopefully. <laughs> All right, I have one more container to harvest before we head down the hill to collect and harvest the ones that are in ground so we can do our little comparison. So let's start with this one here and then we'll be all done with the container onions. Okay, so this container had 17 beautiful onion bulbs. You can see the general size of these. They're pretty nice sized bulbs and they look really nice. I'm so proud of the way these grew. They pop out of the soil so easily because it's nice and loose. It's not hard or compacted. And honestly, these are the best onions I've ever grown. This was a complete success and I couldn't be any happier. All right, guys, let's go down to the in-ground garden where I have all of my onions and a couple of elephant garlic. Now, I know I didn't water this um, in-ground garden as much as I should have or as much as the container gardens, but it's just much farther into the orchard and so it relies more on natural rainwater. I did water it occasionally, but not as much as I should have. And being as it's the end of the season right now and all of the onions and garlic are done, there is no more growing in these plots. You can see there's a lot of weeds here and I just left it and let it grow because I knew I was just going to come in here, pull out the onions and the garlic and just let this garden go because we are all done here for the year. So yes, there are a lot of weeds, but we don't need to be concerned about that because it's the end of the season. This plot here is where I grew all of my tomatoes last year. 
Now I do have a th about three volunteer tomatoes that I see growing here. I'm gonna let these bad boys do their thing and I'll come back and check on them occasionally and see if we have any tomatoes from them and what variety they happen to be. <laughs> This is the elephant garlic I planted. I had about six cloves in here, harvested two or three already, and this is what I have remaining. So they grew okay, but they didn't grow to the size that I really wanted them to, and I know that's because I didn't water them enough. So next time I'm gonna do these probably in containers or um, closer to the house where I'll be able to give them water as they need. So already I noticed that the ones that I planted in ground are a little bit smaller and I had a feeling that it was going to work out like that just because I wasn't able to water the in-ground garden as frequently as it needed. The container garden is closer to the house, closer to my other garden and so it received a lot of water. And when you're growing in containers you have to water a lot more. So I water these consistently but the ones that I grew in the ground they relied way more on rainwater than the ones in containers. Because they were way out in the orchard, I just wasn't able to get to them and water them as frequently as they needed. So right there I can tell that because of the lack of water, the ones in ground are a little bit smaller than the ones in container. So that's what I see in comparison. So how did I grow my onions so big and so healthy? Well, fertilizing quite frequently was a really big plus. Also, giving them a good amount of water is uh, really, really beneficial. You can see the difference in sizes from the ones that I watered frequently compared to the ones that I didn't. And also making sure you weed around the onions frequently to make sure they don't get drowned out by any other weeds or any other plants. Make sure they're in, you know, nice full sun and they're not being in too much shade. As well as making sure that you plant them in very loose soil. That's probably one of the main reasons why your onions just aren't bulbing up big enough is because the soil around them is just too hard and rocky. So make sure you plant them in nice loose soil, fertilize and water often and you should have an amazing onion harvest. So now that I have the space in my container garden, I'm gonna be planting some root vegetables and some brassicas for the fall garden. I don't usually have a winter garden because we just get too cold here in Canada. So I'll be planting all of my brassicas and some root vegetables for the next like six weeks or so and get whatever harvest I can off of that. As for these onions, I'm just gonna cure these bad boys in a cool, dark place out of any moisture and they'll be good to go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me to harvest my first crop, my very first crop, which is my onions. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And the best way to help me out is to share it on social media. I'll see you in the next one. Stay peaceful.